The Resident Evil games have always been a bit hit and miss. Recently I enjoyed the HD remake of the original game and I really, really liked Revelations on the Nintendo 3DS. In my opinion, 6 was dreadful though, and Revelations 2 which is upon us now is episodic, meaning I can only tell you about the first chapter of the game which sees Claire Redfield and Moira Burton trying to escape from a prison island and Barry Burton making a return as he leads a creepy little girl in a nightie he finds on the island in pursuit of his daughter and Chris's sister. To be honest, it doesn't make a lot of sense yet, but I'm sure things will start to come together as the story continues. The textures and graphics overall are disappointing, but the corny lines, intense combat and creepy surroundings are welcome. The game also expands on the co-op gameplay, with offline and online co-op available on console versions, but disappointingly, you can't play co-op in the same room if you're a PC gamer. The mechanic works a little differently here as well. Claire Redfield has an arsenal of guns, however Moira doesn't like guns and so has a flashlight and a crowbar, as you do. You can switch between characters on the fly if you're playing solo, so you can do things like blind an enemy with the flashlight and then shoot them in the head or perform a melee attack with Claire. Barry's campaign has the big guy packing the firepower, whilst Natalia the girl can creep about and see B.O.W.s through walls, identifying their weak spots and pointing out treasure and items. There are also rudimentary puzzles to solve featuring the usual fetch quests and mini-games when it comes to opening chests. Workbenches are also dotted around the levels, so just like in Revelations, you can power up your weapons. You'll also be able to upgrade your characters as you earn skill points, which has a great level of progression. You can then go back and play levels again to earn more points with the weapons you've already collected. This level of replayability as you go for those S ranks is yet again quite Moorish. Raid mode is also back with a bang, so if you're waiting for the next chapter in the series, you can spam your way through that as you fight wave after wave of enemies and earn points as you go. It's tricky to give this a rating, I'll be sure to give the full game a rating once all the episodes have been released, but for now, this first short chapter in the series gets a good 7 out of 10.